Well, hello there, ladies and gents. I'm Tammy Sipniewski, your crypto queen. Thank you so much for popping by my channel. And tonight, we're going to take a break from cryptocurrency and go down another path, still having to do with the financial sector. But this is more of like a conspiracy story and how you shouldn't trust any one person that you watch on YouTube or on TV, because those people could be leading you down a very dark and dangerous path. And we are talking about conspiracy theorists tonight, especially those conspiracy theorists who have gotten their followers involved in a stock called Bed Bath & Beyond. Yeah, that Bed Bath & Beyond. The one that's now bankrupt. You know, the, you know the, the big box store, they sold all kinds of bedding and bathroom stuff, and your grandma didn't go there until she got her ginormous coupon in the mail. Well, they stopped doing the ginormous coupons, and that's why probably it went bankrupt. But uh, yeah, we're talking about that. So Bed Bath & Beyond filed for bankruptcy this past April, April 2023. And that's what kind of kick-started and jump-started this whole thing with people believing, oh no, it's probably not really going to go bankrupt. Ryan Cohen is going to swoop in and maybe pull some kind of short squeeze and he's going to save the company and quick, we need to start loading our bags full of Bed Bath & Beyond. So we're going to be, by the time this is all done, we're going to be millionaires. And that's what these people actually believed. Now, why do they think that Ryan Cohen, of all people, would kind of swoop in and save the day well he's known as like an activist investor i personally don't think that i at all but people in this sect believe that he is uh he did own 10 percent of bed bath and beyond shares but that was last year he bought in uh in 2022 and after owning them for a little while you know, he tweeted very positively about how the future was very bright for Bed Bath & Beyond, and people felt like this was a signal for them to really ape into Bed Bath & Beyond. So a lot of shares were traded, and it caused the stock to skyrocket. I think it went up like almost 50% in value. And once it increased that 50%, guess what happened? Ryan Cohen, Ryan Cohen sold his. Now, in cryptocurrency land, we call that a pump and dump. I don't know what it's known as. and uh, Well, probably is still a pump and dump, right? No matter where you go in financial terms, we have rug job and we got pump and dump. So he definitely pumped and dumped his shares. He's being uh, investigated right now. I don't know if it's a formal investigation or if there's going to be you know, any charges that become of it. But he, they're looking at him like, hey. You dumped after you tweeted so positively and you ran off with the money. That didn't matter. The conspiracy theorists still believe that Ryan Cohen would swoop in and save the day. So they have watched the value of Bed Bath & Beyond. And as I'd mentioned, they filed for bankruptcy in April. And ever since then, the value of the BBBYQ, you know, anytime a company goes into bankruptcy, it they put the little Q at the end of the ticker symbol. The price has been circling the drain. But that didn't matter to these conspiracy guys. They're like, up, oh, DCA into your position. You know, hit the dip, buy more. And uh, here we have this group of people that even though now the stocks are canceled, they still believe that there's a chance that Ryan Cohen is going to swoop in and save the day. So right now we're going to go to this guy named AJ. He's one of those believers in the stock and he he has his life savings in this stock that's now completely worthless. And this is after they canceled the stock and it's worthless. Let's listen to what he says. He's one of those guys that exist in the echo chamber. It's it's, it's just a quick message that I want to get out there. You know, I'm seeing a lot of mixed feeling, which is natural. It's perfectly acceptable and it's expected given, you know, after all this, this time, we still don't have the missing pieces in front of us. You know, we don't have the written guarantee of preservation, recovery. Um, but what I'll expand on further in a minute is the fact that we can make a reasonably accurate deduction that we have won. What? You've lost, AJ. My friend, you've lost. Okay, I don't want to downplay the worry some of you might be feeling today. That's, that's, that's perfectly acceptable, as I mentioned. 
you know, there, there is a general haze and confusion, and we, we all feel like we've been shell-shocked. There's no confusion. Your shares have been canceled. They're gone. Whatever you hold, worthless. You know, some of us um, are getting anxious because of it. But perhaps you could benefit from the reminder that we do have evidence at this time to make the deduction that we won. No. Even if that has, hasn't been reflected in our bank accounts. So even... Where else would it matter most? In your bank accounts or in your mind? If the written language we want to has yet to be published, I personally, feel, uh, I personally uh, choose to feel confident, to be happy. Uh, he doesn't look despite happy. Despite the apparent cancellation of our shares in this <laughs> premature victory lap that mainstream media and the Melties on Reddit are enjoying. Because I know I made a fucking amazing investment. Oh, boy. Okay, it's a fantastic investment. Oh, boy. And I'm about to be rewarded. No, you're not. You know, we're all in, we're all in shell shock. I'm in shell shock, but for a different reason. For me personally, I'm having difficulty processing the I've been envisioning and chasing after over the past year is about to happen. Guys, we're, we're on the verge of a, a, a groundbreaking shift in market mechanics. No, you are not. This guy has his life savings invested in this. It is so sad. And just in case you don't believe me, here's an article from Market Watch. It's the end of the road for the shares of Bed Bath & Beyond. Bed Bath & Beyond filed for Chapter 11. It's the end of the road for the shares of the bankrupt home goods retailer and sometimes meme stock darling. Bed Bath & Beyond. In a filing Friday, Bed Bath & Beyond said that its shares are canceled and have no value as the company's bankruptcy plan takes effect. That's it. They're done. So why do they continue on? Even though all of this has happened, why do they... Oh, my camera went out. Why do they still believe that there's any hope to this stock? So they still believe in the Ryan Cohen thing because... Ryan Cohen apparently had written some children children's books by the name of Teddy, and they looked into these books to find coded meanings, hidden meanings about the bankruptcy of Bed Bath & Beyond. And, you know, there's a picture of a teddy bear, and there's a picture of a mitten, and there's a slice of pizza. Like, the craziest things that you could ever think these people found in the pages of these books, and they believe that Ryan Cohen, I'm not kidding you, that he's secretly communicating with these people through the images in the children's books. The children's book's name are Teddy. And for the longest time, they're like, oh, the Bed Bath & Beyond shares are going to turn into Teddy shares and we're all going to be super wealthy. I'm not kidding you. These people believe it. Enter in a guy named PP Seeds. So this particular guy has been really, you know, really filling the void of that echo chamber where people were starting to lose hope. He kept these guys pumped and going, saying, hey, man, you know, I don't care what anybody says. I know it looks like tinfoil, but, you know, what? there's hope there and we're going to make it. And even though the, this show was live cast after the stocks were canceled, you see him, he's going to start striking up a cigar, talking about how the future is bright. But by the way, this is not financial advice. Just just so you know, there's there's nobody here giving you financial advice. I can believe what I want to believe, and 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 then we're going to take it from here. Just just watch a little bit of the PP show. And again, it's my own opinion. And again, uh, it's my right to believe whatever the fuck I want, man. So uh, uh, for those of you out there uh, who have your fucking whiskey, you have your cigars, spark them up, fellas. Uh, tonight's a night to fucking remember, man. So right on. Their stocks have been canceled. That's it. They have lost. And he's telling his people to go ahead and light their cigars that they've been holding for the day that they get their big news and drink their $500 bottles of whiskey. There's a lot of people, like in the past month, he's probably made like $50,000 worth of donations on his one channel. And the reason that it's so high this particular month is because of it a person that he had guest star on his live stream by the name of Bill Polte. Bill Polte is a multimillionaire. He got his money through, you know, the way the majority of people earn their money. They inherit it. He's from the Polte Home Builder Group. Like his grandfather became a, look, I think Bill Polte fancies himself like a miniature Donald Trump. You know, both kind of involved in construction. They come from construction money and they like to think that 
because they were born on third base that they hit a home run type of thing. That's who Bill Polte is. Now, Bill Polte has gotten involved with this group of DGENs, and you have to wonder why. I, too, have a little bit of a conspiracy theory as far as it comes to why Bill Polte is involved with these guys. But let's let's listen a little more to PP. We're in absolute fucking shambles, man. <laughs> Grady Lane with the two rockets to rockets. Right on, fellas. Let's get into the legality and let's go ahead and start the show, man. Uh, light your fucking cigars. Let's yeah, have a good get time into tonight. The legality, so, people. keep in mind, man, I am not a fucking financial expert, nor am I a financial advisor. So, please seek the avenues to do so, man. You're not going to find it here. A lot of this is opinion, a whole bunch of it. Uh, a lot of this is opinion, a lot of this is speculation, and a whole bunch of it, man, is entertainment. All right. We like getting together. We like talking about this stock. And that's really all there is to it, man. All right. So keep that in mind. So if you hear any opinions, you hear any TA, you hear any things like that. Keep in mind, man, nobody here is a professional. By the way, his disclaimer was very strong tonight when his live streaming started about the Bed Bath & Beyond. It, it was like, yeah, it's not financial advice. But the longer that went on, like tonight, I think was his strongest allocution of this is not financial advice. Please don't hold me responsible because there's word on Reddit that they're putting together some kind of suit against PP and Bill Polte because people did take financial advice from him, invested heavily into a stock that is now canceled. Look at him puffing on his, is that a Cuban cigar? We got a lot of stuff to get into tonight with that Pulte interview. Keep in mind, any guests who come onto the show, man, nobody here is a professional. All right. Again. So if you hear any opinions, you hear any TA or things like that, keep in mind, man, he nobody's is here pro really is a professional. Uh, so uh, again, really drilling at home that this is not financial and advice. Keep that in mind, man. Uh, we like getting together. We like talking about the talk. And that's really all there is to it, man. You know, it's no different than getting a beer in a bar, talking up someone's ear about something that you love, man. So keep that in mind. So, with okay, well, let's talk about this Polte thing. So, Bill Polte. Um, after being engaged with these dudes for super long, he would go on the live stream, he would put out tweets that kind of made it seem like maybe he knows Ryan Cohen. Maybe he knows something that you don't know because he hangs with all these other rich people. So certainly this guy has to know something. Certainly he's in that group of people that wink, wink, they know stuff and, you know, he, he knows. Well, he invited a lot of these people out to his home in Florida and then he took, they live streamed from his office. And when they were live streaming from the office, he was calling out to the people that were watching the live stream and commenting, send PP $500 donations and I will then invite you out. You'll have the chance to come out and meet me and PP. Of course, these people put a bunch of $500 donations out there. I think he got like 20 something thousand dollars worth of those $500 donations just so that these people would have the opportunity to sit down with Bill Polte. Now, uh, once again, I'll remind you, um, he got his money the good old fashioned way. He inherited it, right? Why is he hanging out with these groups of, of degenerate people involved in these penny stocks? What is he doing? I, I do. I do have a little bit of a theory. But for now, let's just take a little peek. So after that, he invites them on his private plane, his private jet, because he has a meeting with uh, the guys over at SpaceX and also the guys at Twitter. And, um, you know, they're going to meet with them and he's bringing them on this meeting. Uh, spoiler alert, of course, they never make it to the meeting at SpaceX or with the Twitter guys or anything, because I think it was all BS. They weren't going there anyway. He just wanted to flex with a private plane and, you know, with a nice suit. And look how he sits. He sits just like Trump sits with his legs spread. Like, did the man spread and the hands, you know, just like that? And he kind of leans in and he does the, the squint thing like Trump does. He really fancies himself a, a Trump Jr. What's up, guys? Are you on, uh, what are you streaming on? YouTube? Uh, we're on YouTube. Yeah. People will probably start joining in here in a second. That's all right. We figured we 
Come on, have you guys been part of the experience? Does everybody know where we're headed today? Uh, tell them, Bill, where we're going. Well, no. Don't assume anything, uh, but we're headed to SpaceX, of all things, if you can believe that. So, we'll see. He also seems to tell lies like Donald Trump, too, right? Like, they just fly out and he has no problem telling them. Uh, let's just take, by the way, just, just a quick little peek at that chart. Here's the chart. Here it is. Let's go to year to date. So, by the way, they did file in April. So if we come down to April, March, April, and here's about where they decided to claim bankruptcy. You could see it's just circled the drain. And after it was canceled, of course, it's worth nothing. But it bounced one day from like seven cents to like 14 cents. And they they considered this like a coup. Like, wow, look what we did. We moved the market and we got the, the stock price to jump up 100%. You know, when the price is that low, it doesn't take that much price action to bring the chart up that high, right? So why do I think this bull pulte is involved? I think he has found himself a group of persuadable and scammable people. And in his view, he might even be going towards cryptocurrency. So I'm going to keep my eye out for him in the crypto field. He's probably like, man, all I have to do is introduce some of these stupid little plays to Pulte, get Pulte to talk him up, pump it. I'll, of course, already be invested. Like, I'll definitely buy that stock before he starts talking about it. And when all of his followers buy in, well, then I'll sell. That's what I think, right? Why else would he be in here? Do you mean to tell me that there's some kind of huge, unknowable play that only these DGENs know about? Do you really think of a play like this were at hand that all of the rich people wouldn't be in it? Don't you think that would happen? And if Bill Polte really believed in all of what he's saying about Bed Bath & Beyond... He could prove me a liar. He could he could prove us all wrong. Everyone that's saying, nah, he doesn't believe it. He has some kind of ulterior motive as to why he's doing that. He can simply dox his portfolio. Show us how many Bed Bath & Beyond shares you actually own, Bill. When did you buy into it? How much did you pay? Did you continue to DCA every time that the, the chart went down? How much money did you have in it? How much money have you lost? All he would have to do is dox his portfolio and show that he was really a true investor because I don't think he actually was. Uh, -uh. He, He's pretending like he's got so much money in this play and that he believes that because he's saying ultimately what this is going to be is a huge gain and you know your shares are going to be worth like who knows how much may these guys think that each one of their shares has the potential of being worth one thousand dollars per share a share that you could have bought last week for a couple of pennies is going to be worth a thousand a share and if I don't know where they got to the number. It's stupid. But certainly, if Bill really believed that, he would have scooped up as many shares as he possibly could. And he can definitely prove that by doxing his portfolio. So I wonder if he'll do that. And I wonder if all of this is going to come true. We'll have to see if he continues to have a relationship with PP after all of this is said and done. Because even though the stocks are canceled, they're still continuing on with this alt, like alt reality where that stock is still worth money. Oh, now it's called butterfly. So, you know, now we're, you know, it's going to transition from a butterfly into Teddy shares. And, you know, we're, we're all going to be full, like this. This is how dangerous it can be to be involved in a group like this, this group think of conspiracy theorists that don't allow reality to come in and give them a quick little check. They don't want to hear it. You know, they can't understand why people often I'll go into their chat and be like, you know, you guys are about to get wrecked, right? You know, this is BS. You know that none of this is actually going to happen. The stock is going to be canceled and your share is going to be worthless. And they just can't imagine why I'm there. They're like, why are you here? Like, if why are you wasting your time? 
And I'm like, because I don't want to see these people continue to get wrecked. Like there's always people in there talking about how they're scraping together more money so that they can buy more shares. Because they believe that they're going to be filthy rich from this at the end of it. You go on Reddit and you could see how many people are talking about this. How many people invested so much money that really they don't have and can't afford to invest. So that's why I'm there to say, hey, man, wake up. And then I said I'd make a video because, you know, some of them know me. I'd make a video after the stocks were canceled to say, what what are your shares worth? Are they worth that thousand dollars? How long is it going to take for them to be worth a thousand dollars? Did you donate five hundred dollars to PP in hopes that you would go off and mil- meet Bill Polte? Why do you want to meet Bill Polte? He's done nothing for you. This guy is supposedly a multimillionaire, and he's telling guys like you to donate 500 bucks to PP? I mean, come on. I think PP knows. I think PP, you know, he's in it so deep that he's like, man, I can't, I can't turn now. Like, I'm already embedded so deep. If I, if I stop live streaming now, I'll definitely get sued. So I gotta, I gotta kind of just push through and get to the other side. So that's just, just a little lesson for you. Never listen to any one influencer or be in any kind of weird echo chamber. If something starts to not sound right, like a bankrupt company is going to make you a millionaire, it's probably not true and you need to watch yourself. Well, that's going to do it here for me today. I know this is probably a little bit of a long one. Thanks for hanging in with me and I will catch you next time. And until next time, remember, try to only buy on red candles and definitely don't buy stocks in bankrupt companies.